Today, we're going to be looking at how to perform a revision of the D-Actor handpiece. The D-Actor is found on the Mobile 2 RPW and original Intellect RPW devices. So when your device hits 1 million pulses, we need to perform a revision of the handpiece. And the reason for this is that we can guarantee that your first and millionth pulses will deliver the same amount of energy flux density into the tissue. So you know that you're going to be getting that effective treatment for your patients. When we hit 1 million, we perform the revision so that we can continue offering the best outcomes for our patients. Performing the revision is easy to do and will only take you a few minutes and you can do this yourself in clinic. The first thing that you'll need is the revision kit. There's a link in the description below where you can order these or you can speak to your local Anovis contact. So included within your revision kit are parts for 2 million pulses or two revisions. You have two guide tubes, two projectiles and two pots of O-rings as well. So the first thing to do is to ensure that your device is switched off. We're then going to remove the handpiece and to do that, you pull back on the connection and then remove gently. So now that we've disconnected the handpiece, we're going to remove the transmitter, which just unscrews by hand. You can place this safely to one side. Next, we're going to unscrew the barrel. Place this down on the table. Remove the projectile, which you can do by tapping it into your palm. Place that somewhere safe and then we're ready to perform the revision. Next, we're gonna open up our revision kit. There's a guide in here on how to replace your O-rings, which we'll come to in a moment. Firstly, we're going to replace the guide tube that the projectile travels inside. Remove the two rubber stops and grab your Allen key. Insert the Allen key through the two holes and slowly using a pulling and twisting action, remove the old guide tube. Place the Allen key through the new guide tube and insert it back into the barrel, ensuring that it's fully secured. Next, we take a replacement projectile from one of the bags and place this inside the handpiece. There's a magnet in the bottom and it will automatically self-center. After this, we can reattach the barrel to the handpiece And then we change the O-rings. There's an O-ring located on the barrel and we also change the O-rings on the transmitters as well. And you can see that these can be removed here and here. Each transmitter has different O-rings, so use the guide to help you. Once you've changed your O-rings, you can reattach your transmitter, ensuring it's secured tightly. We connect the handpiece, turn the device back on, and then to reset the pulse counter, we press and hold the up and down arrows for two seconds. You'll notice that a different menu will appear. The first one shows us how many pulses we've completed. Press the zero button with the two arrows to reset the counter to zero. And then press the up and down arrow again to return to the normal menu and you're ready to start treating. So to check how many pulses your device has delivered, once it's turned on, Press and hold the up and down arrows for two seconds and this will bring up a separate menu. You can see this number here indicates the number of pulses completed. The number shown times by a thousand is the number of pulses you've delivered. When this reaches a million, you're ready to complete the revision of your handpiece. The second menu shows you the number of pulses completed on the handpiece during its lifetime. To return to the normal menu, press and hold the up and down keys.